Hey, what is up everyone? This is Flash from Flash Hobbies and we're going to be upgrading the lighting system on this Ender 3 Pro. I have been into 3D printing for some time. Now I'm actually going to do a lighting upgrade on this one. So I'll show you what I did on my other printer. So here's the lighting upgrade that I did on my other printer. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off so you can see how dark it is. So um, it looks okay, but it's really hard and dark to see down here So I needed a lighting system and basically since it's under a shelf I have a hard time getting really good light in here So I thought this was the next best thing to do and we're gonna do the same exact thing for this top printer So the first thing we're gonna do with this is we're gonna go ahead and unplug the power to this Once you have everything unplugged you can work on it here directly I'm gonna go ahead and move this over to my workstation over here so I ordered these lights on Amazon as you saw earlier they are pretty bright white um, they look really good and they give off a lot of light but since this printer is going to be on top I don't want any of the light coming out unless I need it or if I turn off the lights so I'm going to actually wiring a, a switch on this one the other printer that I have pretty much whenever it's on um, the lights are on as well so I do want to control this the lights on this one and just keep in mind if you are wanting to do this you are going to have to do a little bit of soldering and also you will have to order these specific leds these are 24 volt so they are going to be wired into the power supply that comes with the ender 3 pro you do not need a uh, step down converter or any of that stuff it will just be plug and play as far as plugging into this if you use 12 volt it's not going to work it might work for a little bit but it's going to pop the leds and you don't want that I left the link in the description below for you guys to check it out if you want to get these same ones. So luckily one roll is enough to do several printers actually. Um, it comes with 16 feet. I already used some on the other printer. Now I'm going to do it on this one. So the first thing you want to do is you want to remove the screws off of the power supply. Next up you're going to need a 2.5mm hex driver. And we're going to want to remove one, two, and three. Now that those three screws are removed, this moves easily. And the next thing you're going to want to do is disconnect your power here. This is a XT60 connector, I believe. Next is the removal of four screws on the top of the gantry. So we have one, two, and then we have three and four on this side. After the four screws have been removed, the top of the gantry will come loose. We can just go ahead and set this aside for right now. So you can skip this step altogether if you want the printer to turn on the lights whenever it's on. Pretty much you're just going to wire uh, one of the positive leads to here and one of your negatives into the V minus and there's open slots for both. So all you have to do is unscrew it with a Phillips head screwdriver, put positive, another one over here for the negative and then you just reassemble everything back and that'll take care of the lights. That'll turn on any time that the printer is on. But like I said, I want to switch so I have to wire this in. So this is a little rocker switch I got from AutoZone. I went ahead and just cut a hole into this. This is fairly, um, feels almost like Lexan. It's a very cheap plastic. So what I do is I score it with an X-Acto knife and I just keep scoring and scoring and scoring until finally it's thin enough and then it cuts through and then kind of just saw it through. And just go slowly and you'll get your opening for it. I wanted to put it right next to the switch for the printer. So if I ever do need it, I can just flip both on at the same time. Now that I have the hole, I'll just go ahead and push that through. And there's a switch okay now if you don't have any experience with electrical stuff I would say do not do this switch if you do then continue on there's gonna be three prongs there's a brass one at the very bottom of this one that that's a that's a negative so that's gonna go to your V negative here okay then you're gonna have a negative from your light that's gonna go also into a V negative you can put it into any of the terminals there's three so I put one here and then I put one more at the end of V, v minus. The prong in the middle is your positive. That one's going to go from your switch all the way to your power supply here to V plus. And once again, it has three channels that you can plug into. I just plugged into the middle one that was open. The final one, which is going to be labeled DC, that's going to be where your actual power source is coming from or what you want to power. So that is going to go to the positive on the lights. So just again, there's a brass one, that's your negative, it goes to this negative. Then you're going to plug the negative from your lights into the V minus, okay? Then we're going to do the middle, which is your positive, and that goes into V plus. And then your last one 
which is going to be your DC, that's going to actually go to the red on your LED. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all wired up. Once it's wired up, we're going to work on actually installing the lights inside of the channels of the gantry. So the good thing about these lights is they already come with an in um, provided for you as far as the wiring goes, so you don't have to worry about that. So what we're going to do is we're actually just going to slide it into the channel here and it fits exactly perfect. It's not too wide, it's not too narrow, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to run it down the channel here. Be wary of your wheels, so what I'll do is once, once the light has gone through a little bit, I'll go ahead and move this up by hand. As you can see, once we moved it up, the wire exposes underneath and just keep pulling all the way to the bottom as far down as you can take it. So as you can see here, it went all the way to the bottom of the channel. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut right here along those gold little plates and then we're going to have to solder some wires there so that we can run our lights through the top of the gantry. Alright, so we have our ends tinned and ready to be soldered and we're going to put the cables on, on this. After we do that, we're going to measure another piece that goes across. We're going to cut it again and they're going to repeat the same process for the lighting that goes all the way down this gantry. Alrighty guys, so I got everything installed um, and I'll go a little bit over what I did, but um, like I said, I did the cable all the way up to here. I tied in cables here, put a little light strip here tied some more cable and then put the last of the lights coming down the switch as you can see is now installed printer is on no lights turn on the switch here are the lights really really happy with how this turned out so it's kind of hard to see but I got the cable soldered in here and then did a little connection over here there's probably a light strip from about here to maybe about here so I left I left uh, some space because I needed to put the cable to turn in and that way everything is inside of the channel everything looks nice and professionally set up here is the switch um, everything fit back in perfectly well guys that's gonna do it for this video as always if you have any questions don't forget to hit that like subscribe I left all the links down below in the description but if you need any help with the installation feel free to ask I'm always happy to help Thanks so much for watching and hopefully this helps you with your 3D printing. We'll see you on the next one.